reception nice to see you all again we're all really missing you we can't wait to get back to school so we just thought we'd do something um a bit easter -y today in the easter holidays so we're going to have a try at making our own sock bunnies okay so that you can make this in your house you'll have all these things at home so you need a sock a nice clean one not a smelly one okay and you're going to need some rice okay can you see i've got some rice in there and you're going to need a rubber band if you haven't got a rubber band don't worry you could use a hair bobble instead okay and you will need a ribbon or a piece of string or a piece of wool and you will need some scissors to make your sock bunny and then you're going to need some pens so you can draw on the eyes and the mouth okay you can choose the colors it's up to you or if you've got some stickers you could use stickers to stick the eyes on if you've got some glue you could stick buttons on for eyes it's up to you okay so what you need to do first to make your sock bunny is you need to get your sock okay you need to open it up and then we're going to pour the rice inside so in it goes You'd be careful not to spill it it's making a noise sounds a little bit like rain oh i'm spilling a few bits of rice a few grains there we go okay so all of the rice is inside my sock now okay so what we're going to need now is we're going to need our rubber band and you might need your grown-up to help you wrap this rubber band around because this is going to be the top of your bunny okay so we're going to wrap it round until it's nice and tight because we don't want any of the rice to come out so around it goes there okay now this bit at the top is going to be your ears now i've got a long sock here so these ears would be far too long for my bunny see how long those ears would be so i need to cut a little bit off so you might need your grown-up to help you with this with the scissors okay so this top bit is going to be our ears now but we need two ears so we need to cut that in half okay so i'm going to get my scissors and just cut it right down the middle but be careful that you don't cut the rubber band okay now they don't look like bunny ear shapes yet so i need to cut them a little bit more make them a bit more pointy at the top okay so your grown-up can do that for you so i need to just cut them a bit more make them a bit more rabbit ear shape i bet you will like making this half set because you love animals and bunnies and things, don't you? And I'm going to cut that one down there. There we are. And you see now, it looks a bit more like rabbit ears. Right, so what we need to do now is we've just got one big shape. And we need a head and we need a body. So we're going to put our ribbon around now. So we're going to make sure the bottom bit, the body, is a bit fatter than the top bit for your head. We're going to do that by wrapping the ribbon around there and tying it in a bow. So you might need your grown-up to help you with this bit. There we go. Looking a little bit more like a bunny rabbit now. Okay, so those are his lovely ears. We've got his head and then we've got his body here. Okay, so now... We can put some eyes on and maybe a nose and maybe some whiskers. So I'm going to choose a black pen, I think. Okay, I'm just going to move that sock bunny there. He's already finished. I'm going to do some eyes. So I'm going to do a round circle there. That's one eye. And I'm going to put a, a dot in the middle for the pupil. And then I'm going to do another eye just there around the